Hey there, hope you're doing good. As we continue refactoring future cam, we are going to inline this function. Layer dot session equal to camera dot session. Why do you have a function? For two reasons. One is if it is used in multiple uh, places, you don't want to copy paste the same code multiple times. That is not the case here. The other reason is if it's an encapsulation boundary, if the function has access to private members of this class. But you can see it's not private. So we can just as well use this, do this. Why is camera not changing, uh, not showing here? start VS code as well. Hopefully the diffs will work better. Good time to have a sip of tea while this loads. I think the laptop is under load. I have the recording going on. VS Code running. I have installed this app called Camo which makes my iPhone a webcam. Maybe that's taking some more resources. So anyway, so we have gotten rid of this function. And don't, so we were looking at session, right? Let session. The document here, the, the documentation here says to be used by more classes only. So I tried to create my own level of access control in addition to the one given by the language, like public and private. Don't do that, it's a bad idea. The compiler will not enforce it. Other people in the team will not remember your custom access control mechanism. You yourself won't remember. So this was a bad design. We should just use whatever the language gives. So with that in mind, this is effectively public, so we can use it. This reduces cognitive load. All we are doing is setting the session. We are connecting the layer to the session. That's all you are doing. So AV capture preview layer is like the live preview. When you open an, a camera app on your phone, you get a live preview, right? Before you take the photo. That is this. It needs to be connected to the session to display the video. So that's what we are doing here. For that, we don't need this function because it's more cognitive load. You have to think about what does it do, what should it be named, etc. Earlier, we called it configure. That was not a helpful name. Like, in what way are you configuring the camera? Are you increasing the ISO? That's also configuration, right? So, you know, you get into like one thing leads to other things. So, you don't want to open that uh, Pandora's box. You want to keep things simple and reduce unnecessary layers of indirection. And I'll see you in the next video.